So it's time to look at the CloudFront cheat sheet uh, and let's get to it. So CloudFront is a CDN, a content distribution network. It makes websites load fast by serving cache content that is nearby. CloudFront distributes cache copies at edge locations. Edge locations aren't just read only, you can actually write to them. So you can do uh, puts to them. We didn't really cover that in the core content, but it's good to know. Uh, CloudFront has a feature called TTL, which is time to live, and that defines how long until an, a cache expires, okay? So if you set it to expire every hour, every day, that's how fresh, or I guess you'd say how stale, your content is going to be. When you invalidate your cache, you are forcing it to immediately expire. So just understand that invalidations means you're, you're refreshing your cache, okay? Refreshing the cache does cost money because of the transfer cost to update edge locations, right? So if you have a file um, and it's and it's expired, it then has to then send that file to 10, 20, whatever amount of servers it is, and there's always that outbound transfer cost, okay? Origin is the address of where the original copies of your files reside. And again, that can be S3, EC2, ELB, Route 53. Then you have distribution, which defines a collection of edge locations and behavior on how it should handle your cache content. We have two types of distributions. We have the web distribution, or also just known as web, which is for static website content. And then you have RTMP, which is for streaming media. Again, that is a very specific protocol. You can serve up video streaming via the web distribution. Uh, then we have origin identity access, which is used to access private S3 buckets. If we want to access cache content uh, that is protected, we need to use sign URLs or sign cookies. Again, don't get sign URLs confused with pre-sign URLs, which is an S3 feature, but it's pretty much uh, the same in terms of giving you access to something. Then you have Lambda Edge, um, which allows you to pass each request through a Lambda to change the behavior of the response or the request. Okay, so there you go. That is CloudFront in a nutshell.